Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. Level 12 about friction on wedges. Black A supports a pipe column and rests as shown on wedge B. Knowing that the coefficient of static friction at all surfaces of contact is 0.25 and that theta is 45 degrees, determine letter A, the smallest force P required to raise block A and the smallest force P for which equilibrium is maintained. So for part A, uh, motion is impending upward for this upper wedge A, so therefore friction should be downward downward. So let's draw the free body diagram, the normal first of each surfaces for the solution. So since friction is downward, the reaction should be down to the right as shown. And the angle that R1 makes with the normal is equal to R10 of 0.25 and that is 14.036 degrees. Likewise, on this part, let's have the normal which makes 45 degrees with the vertical because theta is 45 and friction is going down. Normal is perpendicular to the surface. So this is the uh, resultant R2, reaction R2. And call that R2. This angle is equal to R tan of 0.25, so 14.036 again. So the total angle that R2 makes with the vertical is 45 plus 14.039 degrees, and that's 59.036 degrees. So let's draw the first triangle of these three forces here. So let's begin with 3 kilonewtons followed by R1. And since R1 makes an angle of 14.036 with horizontal plus 90 degrees, so the total angle here is 104.036 then we have r2 which makes an angle with a vertical of 45 plus 14.036 so that's 59.036 degrees this remaining angle therefore is 180 degrees minus 104.036 degrees minus 59.036 degrees and that is 16.928 degrees so we need r2 and transmit it to the lower wedge b to solve for p so by sine law, R2 as to sine of 104.036 degrees equals 3 kilonewtons as to sine of 16.928 degrees. So R2 can now be computed. It is equal to 9.9956 kilonewtons. Then for the lower wedge B, let's transmit 9.9956 kilonewtons, which makes an angle with a vertical 59.036. This is P. Let's draw the normal under block B. Then, because uh, motion is bending upward for this wedge to the left of this wedge B, so reaction here should be up to the right, which makes an angle of arc tan of 0.25 degrees again, or 14.036 degrees with the normal. So draw the first triangle. We have P followed by this 9.9956 which makes an angle of 59.036 with the vertical. So with the horizontal 90 minus 59.036 and that's 30.964 degrees. Then we have R3. It makes 14.036 degrees with the vertical, so with horizontal 90 minus 14.036 degrees, and that's 75.964 degrees. This remaining angle is 180 degrees minus 30.964 degrees minus 75.964 degrees, and that is equal to 73.072 degrees. By sine law, P as to sine of 73.072 degrees is equal to 9.9956 as to sine of 75.964 degrees. From there, we can solve for P, and P should be greater or equal to 9.857 kilonewtons. So that's the uh, smallest force P required to raise black, B, black A. For part B, the smallest force P for which equilibrium is maintained, 
uh, this time motion of this block or wedge A would now be downward and P will just be there to hold the lower wedge from moving to the right so to maintain equilibrium P should be to the left so for the free body diagram of this wedge A so let's have it here normal first since this time motion is pending downward and P is just uh, required to hold the system in place so reaction here would be called it call it RA up to the right and it makes an angle of 14.036 degrees with a normal and here normal 45 degrees with the vertical so motion is bending downward down then normal so reaction should be here RB and this angle here is R tan of 0.25 of 14.036 degrees so the angle that RB makes with the vertical is 45 degrees minus 14.036 degrees so let's draw the first triangle first we have 3 kilonewtons followed by RA and this angle would be 90 minus 14.036 is 75.964 degrees then RB which makes an angle with a vertical of 45 degrees minus 14.036 degrees and that is 30.964 degrees therefore this remaining angle is 180 degrees minus 75.964 degrees minus 30.964 degrees and that is 73.072 degrees then we need RB to solve for P later so by sine law RB as to sine of 75.964 degrees equals 3 kilonewtons as to sine of 73.072 degrees so R sub B is equal to 3.0422 kilonewtons then draw the free body diagram of this lower wedge B so this time motion is impending uh, to the right so normal then friction should be going to the left so this should be the position of R sub C and it makes an angle with a normal of 14.036 degrees then we draw the first triangle beginning with B then we have R sub C which makes an angle with a vertical of 14.036 plus 90 so 104.036 this angle here then we have 3.0422 kilonewtons which makes an angle with a vertical of 30.964 so with horizontal would be 90 minus 30.964 is 59.036 degrees this remaining angle this small angle here is 180 degrees minus 104.036 degrees minus 59.036 degrees and that is 16.928 degrees by sine law P as to sine of 16.928 degrees is equal to 3.0422 as to sine of 104.036 degrees then finally we can solve for P it should be greater or equal to 0.9131 kilonewtons to hold the system in place or in equilibrium so that's it for this problem level 13 the three stone blocks have weights of wa 600 newtons the wb 150 newtons and wc 500 newtons determine the smallest horizontal force speed that must be applied to block c in order to move this block the coefficient of static friction between the blocks is mu sub s equals 0.3 and between the floor and its block is mu sub s prime 0.5 so here is the given figure so for first possibility solution uh, all these three blocks will slide on the floor simultaneously so we can solve for p directly so that's one possibility the second possibility is when p is applied c impends to move 
to the left and downward so this black B here will tend to move or get out of the way between A and C so this B here slips this is the second possibility and A remains in place so that's the assumption so for the first situation so that we can solve for P directly so the total weight is equal to 1250 newtons 600 plus 150 is 750 newtons plus 500 is 1250 newtons then the normal is also 1 to 50 that's why the coefficient of friction which is right to, or frictional resistance which is right toward is 0.5 of 1 to 50 as shown summation forces horizontal equals 0 so 0.5 of 1 to 50 minus p equals 0 so solving for p p is 625.0 newtons so this is one possibility if all the three blocks will slide simultaneously let's proceed to the second possibility on the black uh, black c will tend to slide to the left and b will tend to slide up getting out of a and c and let's assume that a remains in place so let's investigate let's do the free body diagram of each so beginning with a then b then c so C will have weight of 500 newtons then we have reaction here N1 45 degrees with the vertical then friction because movement of this plane C is going down friction is up so 0.3 of N1 then the angle 45 degrees with the horizontal H or N1 makes an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical but let's just call it that way let's just label the angles that way it's the same so normal reaction N2 then friction to the right 0.5 of N2 then for black B we have 150 newtons then transmit N1 0.3 of N1 is now down to the left then we have N3 then 0.3 of N3 downward because uh, B tends to move up and it's it's going down entry here so when when B is about to move up then there will be no reaction under B here and let's transmit N3 and 0.3 of N3 on the next FBD and the weight of black A is 600 newtons let's just call this frictional resistance F4 because the assumption is A remains in equilibrium and do not slip then we have N4 and 0.3 of N3 so be, be, beginning with A summation forces horizontal equals 0 so F4 equals N3 and summation forces vertical N sub 4 plus 0.3 of N sub 3 minus 600 equals 0 then let's proceed to this free body diagram summation forces horizontal n3 minus n1 cosine of 45 degrees minus 0.3 n1 cosine of 45 degrees equals 0 so from there we can express n3 in terms of n1 n3 is equal to 0.91924 of n3 of n1 rather Summation forces vertical equals 0, then we have N1 sine of 45 degrees minus 0.3 of N1 sine of 45 degrees minus 0.3 of N3 minus 150 equals 0. Substituting the value of N3, which is 0.91924 of N1, so N1 sine 45 degrees minus 0.3 of N1 sine of 45 degrees minus 0.3 of N3 and N3 is quantity 0.91924 of N1 minus 150 equals 0 from here we can solve N1 N1 equals 684.298 newtons and therefore N3 from this equation is equal to 0.91924 of N1 684.298 so N3 
which is 629.034 newtons and this is also equal to f4 from this equation here so f sub 4 is 629.034 newtons then let's solve for n4 from this equation n sub 4 plus 0.3 of n3 which is 629.034 minus 600 equals 0 so n sub 4 is equal to 411.290 newton so let's check if our assumption is correct that a block a remains at rest maximum frictional resistance f4 is equal to 0.5 of n4 so f4 max is 0.5 of n4411.290 so it's 205.645 newtons and the force required for block a to remain at rest is frictional force is 629.034 the maximum frictional resistance is 205.645 newtons so that means our assumption is not correct it means block a will slide because block a will slide then f4 should be f max and it should be 0.4 uh, sorry 0.5 of n4 so we have to recompute the values because our assumption is wrong let's correct it f4 should be f4 max and it is 205.645 newtons which is less than f4 so f4 max is less than f4 so that means our assumption is correct so let's correct the solution by making f4 to be equal to 0.5 of n4 and therefore it is 0.5 of n4 and it should be equal to n3 by statics then summation forces vertical equals zero so that we can solve for n3 and n4 so from the figure n sub 4 plus 0.3 of n sub 3 minus 600 equals zero and take note that n4 is n3 over 0.5 or 2 times n3 so 2 times n3 which is n4 plus 0.3 n3 minus 600 equals zero so that means n sub 3 is equal to 260.870 newtons having found n sub 3 then we we must compute n1 but when we compute n1 using this equation summation forces vertical will not uh, lead us to balance uh, equation so that means that there should be reaction here at under B and we will call that N5 there should also be friction because if we adapt N3 and substitute N3 into this equation here which is the same equation that can be formulated after we sum up forces horizontal then we can compute N1 and summation forces vertical will not balance so that means there should be reaction over B even if motion is impending uh, for this block here. So we will call that N5 and the maximum frictional resistance of 0.5 of N5. So first summation forces horizontal N3 which is 260.87 plus 0.5 of N5 then minus N1 cosine of 45 minus 0.3 N1 cosine of 45 degrees equals zero so combining n1 cosine 45 and 0.3 n1 cosine 45 to the right it is equal to 0.65 square root of 2 of n1 minus 0.5 of n5 equals to 60.87 call that equation one then summation forces vertical equals zero n1 sine of 45 degrees minus 0.3 n1 sine of 45 degrees plus n5 minus 0.3 of n3 which is 0.3 of 260.87 that's n sub 3 minus 150 equals 0 so setting up equation 2.35 square root of 2 of n1 plus n sub 5 equals 228.261 call that equation 2 solving equations 1 and 2 simultaneously we'll have n1 equals 321.413 newtons 
and n sub 5 equals uh, 69.170 newton so that shows that there should be reaction under block b even if it is about to slide because uh, remember that our assumption earlier was wrong and therefore uh, there should be n5 then because we can compute n4 from this equation here or n4 is equal to n3 over 0.5 or 2n3 so 2 times 260.7 that's n sub 4 and that is 521.74 newtons then since we have found n1 then we compute n sub 2 here from this free body diagram summation forces vertical so by the way n4 is 521.74 so summation forces vertical in this free body diagram of block c so n sub 2 plus 0.3 of n1 and n1 321.413 sine of 45 degrees minus n1 321.413 sine of 45 degrees minus 500 equals 0 so n2 is equal to 659.091 newtons also take note that n4 521.74 plus n5 65.170 plus n2 659.091 will give us 1250 newtons 1250 newtons take note the sum of n4 n5 and n2 which is which should be 1250 for equilibrium and 0 0.5 of 1250 is also 625 let us show that p is still 625 using this free body diagram here so from the figure n1 321.413 cosine of 45 degrees plus 0.3 of 321.413 cosine of 45 degrees plus 0.5 of n2.5 of 659.091 minus p equals 0 solving for p p is equal to 625.0 newton so we have verified that uh, there should be normal reaction under block b and because of that there should also be friction so it means that all the three blocks slide at the same time on the floor and the answer is 625.0 newtons which should we found earlier that the three blocks will slide at the same time then th this should be the solution but I'm, I'm just verifying that the answer is the same by going into the details of the free body diagrams Level 14, a wedge is used to prop up the 600 newton block of marble. The wedge angle is theta 30 degrees and the angle of static friction is P sub S 12 degrees between all contact surfaces. So determine the smallest force P that would prevent the wedge from sliding out. So here is the given figure and for the free body diagram, free body diagram of this uh, block first. So take note that motion of this block is going down and supposedly inward and the wedge is about to slide away so sliding out so in that direction so with for the solution we have the weight of 6000 then normal on the surface here so since motion is impending downward friction is reaction is up to the left which makes an angle with the normal of angle of friction 12 degrees as shown then we have the normal to the inclined surface of the wedge then the friction is in this direction because motion is inward for this block here so reaction should be in this direction up to the right and it makes an angle 
So this total angle is angle theta between the vertical and the normal 30 degrees as shown and the angle between the line of action of R2 and the normal is angle of friction 12 degrees. That's 12 degrees. Therefore, the angle that R2 makes with the vertical is 30 degrees minus 12 degrees, so 18 degrees as shown. So let's do the force triangle of 6000 R1 and R2 and we need R2 to transmit it to the wedge to solve for P later. So 6000 newtons, then we have R sub 2 which makes an angle with the vertical of 18 degrees and we have R1 which, make an, which makes an angle of 12 degrees with the horizontal so with the vertical 90 minus 12 is 78 degrees as shown so this remaining angle is 180 degrees minus 78 degrees minus 18 degrees and that is 84 degrees by sine law we can solve for R2 so R sub 2 as to sine of 78 degrees equals 6000 as to sine of 84 degrees so R sub 2 is equal to 5901.213 newtons having found R2 we then transmit R2 to the wedge as shown then remember the angle and we have the normal under the wedge vertical then because the wedge is we need P to prevent the wedge from sliding out in this direction so therefore friction is in that direction the reaction the resultant of that friction and the normal is up to the right and it makes an angle here of angle of friction which is 12 degrees then we draw the first triangle beginning with P followed by R3 which makes an angle with the vertical of 12 plus 90 so this is 102 degrees then we have 5901.213 newtons which makes an angle of 18 degrees with the vertical so if this is 18 degrees from the horizontal 90 minus 18 is 72 degrees as shown this remaining angle therefore is 180 degrees minus 102 degrees which is 78 degrees minus 72 degrees so 6 degrees so this is 6 degrees then by sine law P as to sine of 6 degrees equals 5901.213 as to sine of 102 degrees. So from there we can solve for P. And P should be equal to 630.6 newtons. So that's it.